Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to make a ribbon chain garland. Now I was inspired to do this project after walking through Michael's craft store in their fall decor section and I saw this chain garland that had a fall theme. Now it looked like it was just simply made out of some type of fall ribbon or some type of fall themed fabric and so I thought I can make that same thing using ribbon that I have at the house and do my my own little version of this. Now after going through my craft stash, I found two rolls of ribbon I can use. These are just left over from past projects. Now I think the perfect size to use is the one and a half inch wide ribbon. Now you can use whatever size you want really, but the key is to use a wired edge ribbon so it keeps that nice shape, that nice form. Now you can already guess with the colors that I've chosen, I want to do a Christmas themed garland. So first off, I just cut a piece of ribbon around eight inches long, and then I just looped it on itself to form a circle, and it was actually the perfect size for my little chain link in my garland. So I can just use this piece as a little template to make my other ribbon strips. So again, you can use the green ribbon as a guide so that you can make all of your strips the exact same length. Now, the amount of ribbon that you need depends on how long you want your garland to be. You're gonna have to cut more strips if you want a really long garland. Now, you don't have to use only two colors or patterns of ribbon to make your garland. You can use as many as you like. So now that I have my ribbon strips cut, I can go ahead and start making my chain garland. So I take my first piece of ribbon and I just make a circle with it, kind of fold it back onto itself and then attach the two ends together. Now you can do that using a stapler or even um, some hot glue, even probably some clear tape, even though I think the tape is not going to hold together as well. I prefer the stapler because it's really simple, easy, fast, and it's not messy like glue can be with all their strings and everything like that. So I prefer the staple method. Now, once you get your loop together, you just take your second piece of ribbon, go inside of that loop, and then you attach those two ends together. And I'll just use some hot glue to show you how I do it. Just add a little to the end, and again, just glue those two ends together. Now you just keep on doing the same process till you get the length that you want. The good thing is you can really make this garland any size you want. You can make it as long or as short as you need it to be. So my garland is almost finished and I think it's looking really great. Now I did not make mine very long and I'll share that with you in just a minute why. And so right now I want to share with you how if you want to you can actually add a little you know hanger to the end so that you'll be able to hang up your garland. Now you can use just a piece of string like a piece of yarn or twine or you can also make it look really pretty and use some ribbon. Now I have different options, some from the Dollar Tree. You can use the half inch ribbon. And then also there's some from Hobby Lobby that I have here and it's my favorite. It has the little berries and the pine cones with the little pine garland. I think that one looks really nice. And these do not have the wired edge. So this smaller ribbon is not a wired edge ribbon. Now you just take a small piece of that about the same length about eight inches and then you can either glue or staple that together in a loop as well and that makes your hanger and you want to do that same thing to both ends. So guys, here it is finished and I think it turned out really great. I'm loving the look here. I'm in the kitchen and this window is over top of my sink area and you can see underneath the valance of these Roman shades, I just tucked the garland ends underneath that and so I made it shorter so that it fits this window and I think it turned out super cute. Now, of course, you could do this same look 
for any occasion. You can use different colors of ribbon or different patterns of ribbon. You can do polka dots or stripes and things like that. You can make these for a birthday party. Whatever you want to do, I think they look nice. And I could really do this look here on several of my windows because I have this same shade on all of the windows in my house so i think that would look really fun it would take a lot of ribbon though so guys i hope you will like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you later bye